I just saw the film, it was mind-blowing. It was one of those old, uh, old epic things that make you lucky to be in a cinema and watching it. So thank you so much for thank all of you, you for that. Mm. Um, the question is, um, you, this is obviously um, a, a Netflix uh, production and it's coming out very shortly after uh, it has it, it, its run in the cinemas. And it's a, it's, uh, a very, it's, it's, it seems like a good collaboration at the moment between TV or um, internet uh, companies with uh, films, with with the, the film industry. Um, so, um, and there are of course some people who are naysayers. So, what would you think? Um, will, will we need to at some point redefine perhaps what is cinema? Hmm. Well, no, okay, you're looking at me. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I think we're redefining it now. In, in such a way, uh, I think it's uh, not just an evolving of cinema, but it's a revolution. Uh, I mean, it's as even bigger than the revolution that sound brought to cinema. Uh, it's the revolution of cinema itself back 120 years ago, 115 years ago. It's a new, and we say the new technology, we bring in the things that are unimaginable and how not only um, is it, um, is it um, uh, something extraordinarily good, for n narrative um, uh, uh, films, put it that way, narrative stories told with uh, uh, emphatic, emphasized with motion, pi motion, uh, motion picture images, um, but it opens up a whole the the the, um, the original conception of what a film is and where it's to be seen has now changed so radically that we may have to say, okay, let's say. Uh, there's a certain kind of film that's made here. Uh, there might be, obviously, virtual reality films. There's holograms. There's all sorts of things that are going to be coming that we don't really know. So, in effect, one thing, we, one thing that will never... Um, uh, uh, something that, that should always be protected as much as possible, and I think will always be there, is a communal experience. And I think that's best in a theater. Now, homes are becoming theaters, too. <laughs> but it, it, it's it's a major change, um, and I think uh, one has to keep an open mind. You know, uh, uh, there's no doubt. Like um, uh, this, uh, seeing a film with with an audience is 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 really really important. Um, there is a problem though, and that you have to make the film, and uh, we. One out of, we run out of room, in a sense. There was no room for us to make this picture. And uh, even for many different reasons, I guess. And ultimately, there was a financial issue, too, in terms of the CGI that we did. And the reason why we went for CGI is kind of complicated, because at a certain point, if I made the film earlier, we may have, they could have played younger. And then at a certain point, we missed that. And then they said, well, use younger actors to play them younger. And I said, well, that's, what's the point of that? And I don't know, back and forth. And finally, the CGI, and we tried it. And so, well, let's try. Let's see what let's experiment. Open it up. I mean, CGI, and that, to that extent, is really an evolution of makeup. Really, you know, you accept certain norms in makeup. You know that that's, he's not that old if she's not that young, but uh, you accept that as a norm. I mean, you accept the illusion, so to speak. Taking that uh, and uh, having the backing of a company that says, you know, you will have no interference. You'll make this picture as you want. Um, uh, the trade-off is it streams with theatrical distribution prior to that. I figured that's 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 the chance we take on this particular project, you know, um, what streaming means and how that's going to define a new form of cinema. I'm not sure. I thought for a while maybe long form TV is cinema. It's not. It simply isn't. You know, it's it's a different viewing experience. You could look at three episodes, two, four, ten. You know, one one week, a second episode the second week. That's not. It, it, it's a different kind of thing. So there's got to be still, what has to be protected is the singular experience of experiencing a picture, ideally with an audience, you know. Um, but there's room for so many others now and so many other ways, and there's going to be crossovers completely. Um, the value, how do you, I don't know how to say, the value of a film that's like a uh, theme park film, for example, uh, the Marvel-type pictures, where, where the theaters become amusement parks, 
that's a different experience. And it's like, it's not even, it's a, I was saying earlier, it's not cinema, it's something else. You know, whether you go for that or not, but it is something else and they shouldn't be, we shouldn't be invaded by it. Um, and so that, that's a big issue. That's a big issue. Uh, and we need the theater owners to step up for that, you see, to allow theaters to show films that are narrative films. A narrative film could be one long take for three hours, too, you know. <laughs> it doesn't have to be everybody. It doesn't have to be a conventional beginning, middle, and end. Uh, but any, if, that, if that answers your question, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> Great, thanks. Mm. Um, <laughs> Emma and Jane, anything you want to add to that as the people who have to find the, the money to do this? Oh. <laughs> you don't have to. It was only if you wanted to. What was the, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> it was about really how stream, whether, whether cinema is, has reached a point where it's changing when you've got the option of having the stream, well, the, the, as it were, in this case, the Netflix option. What he said. Right. Great. Okay. Good. Next question. The one point. The one yeah. point um, to add uh, to what uh, Marty said is that it will be in theaters, and even when it goes on platform, oh, that's right. it continue still will theater. continue to be in theaters. So audiences have their choice of whether they're going to watch it in theater and have an amazing cinema community experience, or they want to watch it on a platform. Roma, for example, is still, still in theaters. It's still in theaters in, somewhere in, in the world. In yeah. Around the world. So again, it's the audience has the choice of how they want to how they want to view something and they're not mutually exclusive. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey you guys, huh? Hey you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey you guys.